Good morning, Fall City Middle School. It's Tuesday, April 6th. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Here we go. First off, happy unbirthday to Kaya Hayes. It's not really your birthday, but we're going to fake it. And for lunch today, we're having chicken nuggets, mashed potatoes, corn, pears, hot roll, and milk. Uh, let's see. Uh, next up, I forgot. Hand me those papers inside that yellow thing. Yep. Don't knock all my stuff down. Push the clip. My son is trying to hand me... The papers, and he's struggling. All right, here we go. Clubs are today, April 6th. This is the last day for clubs, so if you want to do clubs, well, you don't have choice. You're doing clubs. My group, it's 2020. Gavin Cole, you're going down. I'm not losing pitch to you. All right, A-OK -okay of the day is going out to Kenzie Riggs. She helped Miss Bennett clean up the art materials after class. Great job, Kenzie. No swirly for you from Uncle Keith. All right. So there's that. Now time for your words of wisdom, and it's about self-responsibility. And then I'm going to turn it over to our members of Circle of Friends who will be doing an announcement. All right. In her famous diary, a very young Anne Frank wrote these words. Parents can only give it good advice or put their children on the right path, but the final forming of a person's character lies in their own hands. Anne Frank is talking about self-responsibility, which in a nutshell means taking responsibility for your thoughts, words, and deeds. Our parents, teachers, counselors, and spiritual leaders can offer us valuable advice. They can recommend which path to take. They can share the wisdom they have gained through experience. But in the end, it's up to you to make the right choices. Today, practice taking responsibility for your actions. If you make a mistake, admit it. If you hurt someone's feelings or say something, you shouldn't apologize. Learning to be self-responsible is learning to be a person of character, and being a person with character is a goal we should all set for ourselves. Speaking of people of character, I am now going to turn it over to two members of our circle of friends group here at Fall City Middle School. Both of them have terrible taste in football teams. we got a Bills fan and a Vikings fan. So let me make sure this is lined up right. And they are going to take off their mask and speak loudly. Right, Jacob? Yeah. You better. All right, here we go. It's all yours, guys. Tomorrow, April 2nd, marks the 14th World Baptism Awareness Day, a day that recognized across the nation to help raise public awareness of autism. And it also highlights April as World Autism Day. Since 2010, hundreds of thousands around the world have worn something blue on April 2nd to help support awareness and understanding of autism. Middle School Circle of Friends has chosen to sell autism awareness shirts to support our own efforts to wear your blue tee on April 30th. T-shirt order forms are due to the office by next Wednesday, April 7th, to be sure to turn, to turn your forms in. Help us raise awareness about autism. Spectrum Disorder, or AESD, which, is, which affects 1 in 45 children in the United 54. States. 54. One of the 34 people who, I, who are identified are boys. 1 in 144 are girls. Stay tuned for an autism awareness activity during homeroom on Monday, April 12th. And remember to turn in those t-shirt order forms by next Wednesday, April 7th. A circle of Friends will be back to help spread more awareness about autism real soon. Is that it? Yep. Are you too sure? Hmm? Pick a better football team. With something to think about, it's Mr. Bangert and, and Jacoby Wyatt. and Wyatt <laughs> wishing you a happy Tuesday. They need to learn yeah. to speak louder. But other than that, we're good. Have a great day, everybody.